125th Street, Harlem, New York, under the command of General Honda. And since 1969, we've been teaching that so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. Now, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, your oppressor, he can never be a man like you. Let me help you understand some blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The oppressor has been running from his judgment for, since the beginning of time. He's been, he's been running from judgment since the beginning of time. While you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you face your punishment. Let, let, let me help you understand something. You face your punishment like a man. Unlike your oppressor, he don't face his punishment because he is not man enough. How long are we going to be under cowards, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? How long are we going to uh, stay under these people that live, libitions, whatever, LGBTQ? How, how long are we going to stay under these people? How long are we going to be under these people who are cowards, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? They can't even face their own judgment. They can't face their own crimes. They can give out judgment very well, but then when it comes time for them to be judged, they can't face it like a man. But you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you faced your judgment like a man. You faced your judgment, and now it's time for us to come out of that judgment. Come out of that judgment and become the men that we're supposed to be. Look at Rome, chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Uh -huh, hold on, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Let me help you with something. It is important that you understand that now is the, the, the time that we are in right now. That you realize what's going on around you. You pay attention to what's going on around you and wake up out of your sleep. You've been sleeping for over 400 years. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans paying attention to absolutely nothing around you. Your oppressor has you paying attention to video games. Has you smoking weed while he out here making big moves. Wait, they make, are they over there in Russia and in Ukraine making big moves while you over here worried about going to the club? Right. That's what you worried about. Right. You over here worried about getting high. That's what you worried about. They have you distracted watching TV, doing everything but paying attention to what's going on. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they did the same thing in Rome. They put all these games on, all these Roman games to distract the people. While the big people, the big dogs, they will go and make moves. And they're doing the same thing. They're using the same tactics on you today. They got you raveled up in video games, coming out with the new GTA 6. You're going to be distracted by all these new movies coming out. Right. They are distracting you, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It is in time for you to wake up. Time for you to come out of sleep and realize of all the destruction that is going around you. I mean, they're using Christianity, too. Christianity is distracting you, rocking you to sleep. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, start from the top. Come on, come, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Man, it's high time to awake out of sleep. It's high time to put down Christianity. The most, that's a, the biggest drug on the planet. The biggest drug. It's time to put down those drugs that put you to sleep. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's time to put those things down. Put down the, your whore's ways. Put down those fake gods. Put them away because they rock you to sleep. Rock you to sleep from being who you're supposed to be. From living your culture. From putting on your culture, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. From being the godly man that the Lord wants you to be. You can't be, you can't be a godly man out here living an alternative lifestyle. You can't serve the Lord out here uh, smoking weed. You can't do it. You can't be out here uh, sleeping with another man. Right. Trying to serve the Lord. That's not how it works. The Lord is too manly for that. That's, that's not the spirit of the Lord. The Lord is a, he, he has a, he has a manly spirit. And, and uh, Hey, give this brother a hand, man. Give this brother a hand. You know what, what else is putting us to sleep right now? Voting. Voting is putting us to sleep right now. You know how long we've been voting here in America and it ain't done nothing for us? Right. Absolutely nothing. Martin Luther King wanted us to vote. We voted, didn't do anything, right? You know what, the, what, what voting does? Voting makes us feel happy. It makes us feel good. But voting absolutely does nothing for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's all a feeling. It's just like going to a Christian church. It's just like going to a concert. Right. It makes you feel good, but it 
government really does nothing for you. Right. And that's why they take, that's why they keep making you want to vote, want to vote, vote this, vote that, vote or die. You know who else said vote or die? Who else said vote or die? Pete Diddy. Pete Diddy said vote or die. Hey. Now Pete Diddy ain't voting about nothing. Right. They voting on Pete Diddy. Oh, what, what sticks? Who, who got the, uh, the, the longest toothpick? They voting about Pope Pete Diddy. Pete Diddy ain't voting about nothing. It's all about a lie. It's all about a lie. He was he was making people take that. Now he's taking that. Because he wants to be like Americans. He wants to be like the president. He wants to be like Jeffrey Epstein. He wants to be like the oppressor. Right. He wants to be just like them. And what happened? Now he wants to be just like them. Now he's just locked up. Because he wants to vote. That's right. Because he wanted to be like the oppressor. Right. And the oppressor is nothing but a murderer and a criminal anyway. So if you want to be like them, you can be like Donald Trump and have 34 felonies. Right. Oh, we. Let's talk about that. Donald Trump got all these felonies and he's running for president. Right. Meanwhile, I know a brother that got one felony and he can't get a job at McDonald's. Right. Right. What is going on there? Right. Or he's doing 20 years in prison. Right. Real talk. Real talk, they're not like us. They're not like us. When they do evil and wickedness, they get praised. When we do evil and wickedness, we go to jail forever. Real talk, because we was given laws, rules, and regulations on not to do things. So we get spankings for it. Our God punishes us. Our God loves us, so he chastises who he loves. Nobody loves them, so they just gonna run wild and run free until Christ returns, man. Until Christ returns. Then there's gonna be a whole lot of judgment coming on their head. Real talk. So it's time we wake out of sleep, man. All that sleeping, all that going around here, walking around like we zombies. We only zombies because we off drugs. The drugs that they gave us. Right. They gave us drugs and called it a war on drugs. Right. Now they on drugs, now it's a, 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 an epidemic. We have to help these people. No, where the better around that? Busting their doors, busting their grandmama's houses. Where the better around that? But break they, uh, break their houses right up, just like they did my grandma. Just like they did my grandma. Where's that uh where's that uh where's that one to, uh one to one hundred law at? Where's that law at? Where's that law at? Lock 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 them up. One one uh one percocet or one 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 gram of fentanyl is like a hundred grams of crack. That's what I like. That's what should be happening. But no, it's because it's their people. They they want to have mercy on their people. Right. They don't have no mercy on us. Well, you know what? The Lord is going to have no mercy on you. Right. So black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, it's time we wake out of sleep, man. Give it up for this brother. Go ahead. So like, and if I can add, what the brother saying is so heavy because black people, black men go to prison five times more than white America. We in prison five times more than white America. So they do something wrong and they don't get praised for it. They the John Gotti's. They the, um, give me some more. They the, um, um, give me some more. Al Capone. You know I mean, every gangster, they become famous. But, you know what I mean, A.R. Ab go to jail and do 60 years. Or oh, give me somebody else. Um, Paul Castellano. Paul Castellano go to jail. The black brother go to jail and do 60 years. That's because we five times more likely to go to jail than they are. We can't do criminal. We can't do crime because we the worst criminals ever. Because the Lord gonna give you the belt. The Lord gonna, gonna whoop you like a parrot would. Right. That's what that's what the most high is. They can do their crimes, they can do their drugs, let them do their drugs. Right. That's why we ask you as blacks and Hispanics to remove yourself from America. Let them celebrate their holidays. Because when you celebrate it, you sin against the most high. Right. Because you are a child of the most high. Right. The Bible said don't celebrate Christmas. Right. But your pastor got a uh, got a church in the, in the, in the uh, uh, a tree in the church. Right. The Bible say don't celebrate all their holidays like Halloween and Easter. The, eat the, the feast that they give you But we do it And when we do it we die It's razors and our candy It's drugs and our candies right. That's who we are as blacks and Hispanics We are at the bottom And we get, we suffer the worst Because we follow our oppressor That's right Salaki so listen to this bro That's right For 5,000 off Salaki what these brothers are saying is absolutely heavy. That's why it's so important for us to wake up out of this place, Black Hispanics and Native Americans, and stop being drug dealers. Stop being uh, molesters. Stop being you know, uh, harmful to our brothers. It's time for us to wake up out of this place. Uh -huh. Go ahead and read that. 
Kong Kong, this is the Book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, it is now, it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation near death when we believe it. Hey, Black Hispanic today, it's time for you to wake up out of this place. Stop taking this as a joke, Black Hispanics and Americans. Us as a people, we take this as a joke. Like, like Christ really ain't finna come back and crack the sky. We take it as a joke and we mock the Most High. We mock Christ. We mock him and we serve other gods. We need to stop serving these other gods and put them away. Because you are mocking the Most High whenever you serve another God. You mocking and laughing in the Most High's face. But the Most High, the Most High will not be mocked. You, you, you'll be punished for the things that you do for going out and serving these other gods. And that's exactly what's happening right now. We are being punished. We're being punished for serving these other gods. You want the answers and the solution to, to living life, Black Hispanics and Native Americans? You gotta get it here, in this Bible, in these scriptures, because that's where you're gonna find it. Here in the ISUBK, learning from your brothers. That's where you find life. You don't find life by yourself out there smoking weed. That's death. You don't find life out there sleeping with, with harlots. That's not life, that's death. Because all, your, all the oppressor does, all he does is create death. Right. And us following him, that's absolutely death. We're following after death. But when we follow after the Most High, we follow after life. When you keep these laws, that's commandments, you follow after life. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So you gotta wake up and choose life. Instead of waking up and choosing death. Give me Matthew chapter because it is it's so important for us to realize oh, like, for us to realize the things that are going on. You, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're not paying attention to absolutely nothing that is going on in the world. You're not paying, paying attention to any of it. I'm, I'm going to tell you something that just happened recently. Recently, Israel, the Israel, uh, Israeli military just striked uh, uh, um, Hezbollah, and it killed their commanders. It killed uh, uh, most of their commanders. I mean, you, you don't pay attention to the things that are going on over there. There is a whole war that is going on over there, and you ain't paying attention about it. I bet you, a, I, you can ask any black, Hispanic, or Native American what's going on in Israel, and they'll say, I don't know. But I do know that, that you know, that GTA 6 is coming out. I do know that the, that, that, no, that new movie coming out. I do, know who got the weed. I do know who got the weed. They know who got the weed, but they don't know what's going on around them. They don't know that they brothers being unalived around the block. They don't know about that. But they do know who got that weed. They, they sure is looking for that weed. You know what I mean? Kind of the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 2. He answered and said to him, What is, so like, when it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Yeah, hey, hold on. Like, you, you, you say, whatever it is, evening, you look at the sky and you see that it's evening. And you, you know that's gonna be fine with you know the time of the sky. You look at the sky, you're like, damn, the sky is clear. Mm, it's gonna it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look pretty nice. It's not gonna rain. Nothing, you know, no stormy weather. Look at it, it's clear. It's nice outside. But for the sky is red, very street, and it it's like and in the morning, it will be foul weather today. For the sky is red. See, let me help you understand something. You look at the weather, and you're able to understand when it's going to rain. You see the clouds, and you see all that, and you, you're able to understand that it's going to rain. You, you're able to understand that you need to stay inside. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're able to see that there are, are no clouds outside. You, you're going to understand that it's going to be a, a pretty nice day, maybe a little hot. You're able to see that there's clouds up in the sky and see that, 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 that maybe it might be a nice day. Maybe, but hold on, keep on reading. The law raging, or ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the time? Damn, you can discern the face, you can discern the time, the time, like you discern the face of the, the sky. You're able to understand that when it's finna rain, but you're not able to understand that we in the last days. You're not able to understand that this war is, is bringing America to an end. 
You're not understanding that. You're not understanding that this place is coming down. That judgment is coming to America. You see what's going on in Israel? They ain't fighting back and forth, and it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse because the Lord is causing that. To, he's causing it to happen. He's causing them to go to war over there because he's trying to get you out of this hell. He's trying to get you out of the out, out of oppression, blacks, Hispanics, and Americans. But what you do? You're not trying to get out of oppression. You're trying to stay here and be comfortable. Like, You're like, no, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave from this place. Right. I'd rather stay here and be comfortable under the oppressor. Right. Be comfortable under these cowards. Uh -huh. These LGBTQ members. I'd rather stay here and be comfortable under them. When blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you, you, better, you better get uncomfortable and wake up and get out of this place. Right. You better follow the most high instead of following the oppressor. Because the most high is trying to get you out of here. He's trying to give you a way out. Like he always does. He, the most high always gives you a way out. But you're not taking it. You're not taking the way out. You're looking at it like, mm, nah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to take that way out. I think I'd rather take death. That's what you're saying. You, you'd rather take death. Live uh, uh, in a, a harsh condition. When the Lord trying to get you in a better condition. He's trying to give you a better condition and you choosing the harsh condition. Like, I mean, like any good parent, he is trying to get you out of hell. He is trying to get you into a better condition. But you, you're not, you're not taking that better condition. You're like, nah, I want destruction. That's what you want. Well, you can Kamakaz, verse 4, a wicked and adulterous generation seek it after a son, and there shall no son be given unto it. And we looking for a sign. You know, we waiting for Christ to crack the sky. We waiting for Christ to, to come back. We waiting for the Antichrist. That's what we waiting for. But I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Your sign is right in front of your face. You know why? Because here. Keep on reading. But the signs of the prophet Jonas, uh, the, but the, the sign is right here. The Lord is giving you the sign because he's sending out his prophets to you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's sending out the priests and prophets out on the corner of the streets to come out here and wake you up, to come out here and give you a better place. Come out here and give you your paradise, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what he's trying to do. But you, you, you ignoring it. You like, nah, that ain't it. That's hatred right there. You living into your oppressor, and, and he's beguiling you from getting, from getting your glory. He's beguiling you from getting the kingdom of heaven, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's tricking you, and you falling for it. You falling for it. You look at us, and you, you, you count it as hatred. Why? What your oppressor is doing is hatred. He telling you he love you while he's stabbing you in the back. Right. He unalive your people. But you count that as love. And then we, we turn wicked into uh, evil into good and good into evil. Right. Like dang. But all we coming out and doing is giving our people a better uh, situation. Right. We're giving our people a, a better life. Right. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to give our people something better to, to put down the drugs because drugs is destroying our communities. We're trying to stop unaliving each other to be able to have brotherhood amongst each other. But what do you say? You're like, nah, I want to be separate. But I want to be, you know, with the oppressor. That's what I want to, I don't want to be joined with my brothers. I want to be joined with the oppressor. Uh, but blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Lord is trying to get you to join with your brothers, right. not with the oppressor. Right. It's time for you to join with your brothers. Because your brothers are the only ones that are going to love you truly. Right. They're the only ones who are going to show you true love. Your oppressors will never love you. They'll never show you true love, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They'll never show you true love. That's why it's so important that you understand the times that we are in. Understand the time that it is time for you to get out of this place. It's time for you to wake up and see who your true enemies are. See who your true brothers are. And your true brothers are right here, standing on the court, trying to uh, standing on the, the corner, trying to fight for you. We're trying to fight for you. Why are you trying to fight for the oppressor? Blacks, Hispanics, and Americans. We out here trying to. Uh, we out here giving our lives for you. That's the. That's your true brothers. We ain't your enemies, but you count us as your enemies because you want to listen to the oppressor, who is your true enemy.
He's your true enemy. Stop listening to your oppressor, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Wake up from his hallucination, his trap that he's got you. He, he got you in a whole, whole mesmerized trap going against your people and your God. It's time for you to wake up and come back to your God and your people. Hey, he left them and departed. Verse 5. And when his disciples would come to the other side, they have forgotten. Uh, give me a second, Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. 3 and 10. It's time for you to wake up, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because this place is coming to an end. Christ is coming back. We're in the last seconds. We don't have very much time left. Right. We don't got it. You don't got the time to sit around and, and, and hope that someone's going to come and save you. You don't got that time no more. You ain't got the time to think that someone's going to come and fix your communities. No. We have to rise together, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and fix our communities for the people. We have to fix our communities. Back up, because ain't nobody else gonna do it. The police station ain't gonna do it. I mean, the government ain't gonna do it. Absolutely none of them are gonna do it. But they are gonna tear it down, just like the Christian church. The Christian church tearing down the communities. If nobody's gonna do it, we have to do it. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why it's important that we, we get men who are, who are willing to give up their lives for their brothers and sisters, who are willing to come out and build the communities to give up their time and energy to be able to be out here for their brothers. Say three and two? Three and two, right? Yeah, three and two. Three and two. There's a book in 2 Peter, verse, verse, uh, chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. I want you to understand something, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You don't have time to sit around. You don't have time to sit around and play video games all day because you don't know when Christ is coming back. You don't know the day or the hour that Christ comes back, but he is coming like a thief in the night. He is coming, and coming without you. You ain't gonna know when he comes back. You're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna, it's gonna be like a snap, like a thief in the night. You don't know when a thief comes, in, uh, comes to your house. You don't know when a thief robs you. Go ahead. Read it from top Come to come, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Hey, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. No one expects to be robbed by a robber. No one expects to be robbed by a thief. No one. But the day of the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. And the only thing that you can do, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, is prepare for it. Prepare for this day to come. And that's exactly what we're doing here in the ICBK. We're prepared for the day that Christ is coming. So that we, we're not caught off guard. That the day of the Lord doesn't come like a thief in the night to us. But to the people who are not worried about it, to the people who are not uh, looking at the signs of the times, not paying attention to anything that's going on in the world, the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. 